One of the greatest things that I get to do is be a part of these things. And even if I'm not going to build a model for this, there's two of my models on this layout, I've been told. This is Ottawa, Ontario. This is the Parliament buildings, and that's a mock-up. Let's go to the other side and see the real finished stuff. Now on the other side, this is two buildings. What we got here is staging. How's this for staging? Amazing. I'm gonna turn the camera back. So this is called Our Home in Miniature Land, and it is a exhibit for normal people, not model rivers. Air Canada Center, ACC. Grand Central Station, Toronto, Ontario. Bay Street. Steam Whistle, this is a very good beer, I'm telling you. This is also a railroad museum. CN Tower. At one time, this was the tallest building in the world. Now get this. This is called the Rogers Center now, but when it was built, it was called the Sky Dome. If we press this blue button, Now they must have a game happening tonight because there's nobody in the stands. But how's that? I found this piece on the website, so I'm going to share it. Explore the beauty of Canada in a whole new way. Our home in miniature land takes you on a journey of discovery through Canada from the moment you enter. An interactive attraction showcasing Canada's captivating vistas, landmarks, and cityscapes all in miniature scale. Our home in miniature land aims to entertain and educate guests every tiny step of the way from the Rockies to the Maritimes and up to the Arctic North. A new landscape to explore is around the corner and it's an experience for all ages. Now this is what's considered a million dollar layout. It's probably gonna be more than that. Now in terms of model railroaders, there is three degrees of separation between me and the richest people in the world. And if somehow this video makes it to one of you cats, please consider contributing to this layout because it's gonna take a lot of money.
I consider this layout to be a moonshot, and actually, when I was talking to Mr. Brennickmeyer, the project leader, the visionary of this project, I said, well, this is kind of like going to the moon, which was a half thought, and he probably thought I was crazy, which I am, Jean-Louis, don't worry, but the whole idea is that this project is going to get done. It's a moonshot. It's going to get done. We don't care what it costs. We've got a great idea. We've got a great team of talent. And they sure do have a great team of talent. I'm telling you. I've met a lot of them. And, you know, it's a project that's out there to uh, cater to the normal person. To teach them about Canada. Everything about Canada. Using the greatest hobby in the world. So why wouldn't you contribute? But I digress. Let's get back to this tour. Now this section right here is Hamilton, Ontario. Stelco Steel Mills, well it might be Domitar. I think the name's changed a few times. But there's real representation of these areas. There's lots of things that are real in this layout. The botanical gardens, they're really there. There's a hundred million strip malls. These bridges really actively there. The Spectator is the newspaper in Hamilton. Now Hamilton is a town of a half, of, half a million people. However, it's got big industry. This is the real pumping mill for water. The downtown, real representations of the buildings. You can see some historical models in there. Really unbelievable. Now, I've been told that my models that I built a few years ago for this layout are here. I just want to find them. There they are, right there. <laughs> I was told they're here. It's good they're here. So as you can see, this is an amazing feat. Now that water is not, for, there's raining like crazy outside. The Hamilton Mountain. And on this road is the faller vehicles that uh, we've seen. This is a real cafe. I've been there. Uh, Oktoberfest in the Kitchener Waterloo, the Tri Cities. En route, the, uh, on the side of Canadian highways, we have uh, rest stations. 
That's a concrete mill over there. It looks like it's end scale. Uh, salt. My father was a salt miner. Oh my god. That's the way they really did it. Well, it's underground, but that's awesome. My dad would be so happy to see that. Now, if you're from Stratford, Ontario, the Swan Parade. Beautiful gardens of Stratford and the Stratford Theater. Probably playing Macbeth. Just so you know, they use Digitrax. Hey, uh, pro tip, the water in Hamilton doesn't look blue. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to scale 300 oh, kilometers yeah. an hour. <laughs> He's got a little police vehicle with lights in there, and the two go to the same. It's not quite as fast as the truck. Look at that. Well, it doesn't mess. I think I saw that guy today. I see that guy every morning. Yeah. He was hydroplaning. <laughs> <laughs> With families coming through and things like that, and then the response has been very positive. Um, we've also seen. Yeah, but you know, you, we're used coming. to that. Yeah. You know, getting well, people coming in and seeing this stuff. To, for to a point, yes, but the people are very critical of something like this. Like you go to a home layout, you accept that that's yours. You the blue green, yeah, 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 that's it. You, you're good with that, right? When you come to something like this and you're told that this is going to be an attraction, you'll be able to bring your family to it. It'll be educational. You know, we're trying to do Canada and miniature. So we're, we're setting some pretty high bars mm -hmm. when we say things like that. So people come in with a reasonable expectation and uh, we're not and afraid. comparing yourself with miniature land, kind of? Well, that's... Or inspired by? Inspired by is a fair thing, you know. Um, we've been asked that a few times, you know, are you going to try to be bigger or better or whatever? No. Well, no, that's foolish. You know, they've been doing it for 15 years. They've got computers yeah. running their layout. So do we. How do you think I'm standing here and the trains are running right now? <laughs> okay, 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 good point, good point. 
you know, I, I started uh, about eight or ten trains up as you walked in the door and I walked away from it. They're still running. Fantastic. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, there's this traffic jam. That's and you see the brake lights come on? Ah! Right? The, the cars actually have decoders in them and uh, in, infrared sensors. So as they get close, brakes. Okay. Now, if that vehicle doesn't proceed, he's going to sit there and wait until the vehicle in front proceeds. So, so there's logic programmed into yeah, it? absolutely. They actually have, they have directionals, uh, they have uh, brake lights, they have uh, marker lights on some of them. I like to say the James on one of the fire trucks he's in. Yeah, 60. So, <laughs> so he said something, open car, is that the software? Open car is the manufacturer of the, uh, follower system? the, the chips. Oh. That go into the follower car. So okay. they start with a base follower car or even nothing and then build it from there, mm. right? So there, the trucks decide to move on, so that, <laughs> that little traffic jam will eventually clear itself away. Camera caught it. You know. Wow. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So. It's a bit mind-blowing to watch. It is a bit mind-blowing, you know, isn't it? If you're used to you know, train technology with ECC and stuff, you can do some pretty cool things. But. This is Stratford. That's Stratford. And there's a condensed version of Stratford Station behind no. it. No! So Romeo and Juliet is, is in Stratford. Do you know who designed that station? Off the top of my head, I don't know. Frank Lloyd Wright. Really? Well, that's a... It's not the same thing. It was a, it was a local, uh, <laughs> local model that we go to, Peter Muirley, is the one who actually condensed it down and, and built it up for us. It looks like it's built out of wood. That's so, not. Is it plastic? Yes. Beautiful. So, um, you use model builder supply? Yep. Yeah, yeah Wood 8 MBS is uh, one of the people we go to, Woodland Scenics, Walter, all of them. I just gotta check on something really fast. Sure. There's also the, the Swan Parade over there too that happens. Unreal. So are those windmills a kit? Um, they're available yeah, through Walters. Okay. And then James modified it. He put the red LEDs on them. Uh, and then of course we took. They were originally powered by a small solar cell. Mm. Right. So as a desk thing you could put on and the lights and the windows. So then uh, they had to modify the uh, power source for them. And then they had to basically do a grid with the. Uh huh. Like 12 volt. With uh, a little bit of help from some resistors, because I think they're much less than that that they require. Mm. Well, you don't want them running as fast as that one truck. No. <laughs> no. Well, that, that, that well, truck we is, leaves off the trees. So the truck right now is what we would call a dumb vehicle. It doesn't have a decoder in it. It's just that's the motor doing what it does. Right? Uh -huh. So James will run that like that until he, he's happy with the way that it performs. Working in the gears? Right. Well, just. The gear is the steering mechanism. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the little tongue on the front has a magnet that's mm -hmm. following a wire in the road. Mm. So if it's all, not if close if enough all to the road, that's out of balance, yeah, all kinds it's, of stuff. it's not a good thing. So there's, there's no sense. It's just like a, if you take a, a DC engine and you want to make a DCC, you make sure it runs well first before you put a decoder in. I love things like the on route. Um, again, permission had to be given. You know, they, I think it's the on route in Cambridge. They did a condensed version of that to, you know, to, uh, to try to show as much of that as possible. Awesome. 
and then of course so that's our version of our high school bridge. We built our own designs for that. Mm -hmm. And Dave McLean had fun building the curved trestle in the back there. Mm -hmm. He's one of the partners in this, right? Mm -hmm. Now is this a VP? Is this a dropout that's yeah, supposed much. to go so in so here? You have a serious look at this for a second. Uh, Banting House goes here, and it's just over there on the table. It's out uh, because I was, I'm working on this zone right now. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, um, all of Oktoberfest lifts out in two pieces. The uh, top comes out in about four pieces. They just literally pop out because mm -hmm. right? it's going to move. Mm -hmm. so, so we're building to that kind of spec. Um, so when you hide your scenery on the side, mm -hmm. is that just the lip that goes over like that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll get fluffed in. You know, to push brush something, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, whatever's appropriate to it. And then when we get to kind of our final place, mm -hmm. then I can go back and look at the scenes and deal reassess with how well, you're going to do it. Be a little bit more particular about it because once you get to the point that they don't have to come in and out often, mm -hmm. then you can you can solidify mm -hmm. things quite a bit. Right? Mm -hmm. And if you look at uh, along the back here, uh, four of those components actually lift up so that we can reach into the scene to access it. Mm -hmm. You know, other components within this. Uh, Lift as a block from underneath. So that's the tour. Let me go out to the car so I can talk a bit louder. See the tray. Structures, lock ups. That's just a product. Buildings probably samples that have been. Then we got the real small mock ups. Ottawa just sitting there on the floor. This whole thing is right here. Just amazing. Okay, so when I got out to the car, I really didn't have anything to say. So. Well, I did have a lot to say, but it really didn't make sense. I've got the mind of an artist, and <laughs> uh, seeing this layout really exploded my mind in ways that is just a beautiful thing. In the workshop where the Ottawa exhibit is, I seen a bicycle riding along on this faller system. Bicycles! The guy's feet were going around on the pedals crazy like crazy like how do you expect me to go out to the car and say something intelligent Pfft, I was a blabbering idiot just proclaiming my love for everybody in the building it was just it was, it was kind of it was just too too creepy it's, it's best best that I just throw that video out redo it with this stuff so this exhibit is in the construction phase it's not really open to the public uh, I don't know what to say on that I just know that uh, I was invited and uh, they're very very friendly people and uh, if you want to check them out go to miniatureland.ca I want to thank uh, Jean-Louis and the gang I wish I remembered everybody's name, but I, I heard a lot of names, and uh, I'm really bad with names, and I don't want to get any of your names wrong. Uh, I really appreciate the, the time you spent with me, the amount, like, pfft. I was told that they just turned, like, they was turned on for me, and I was like, what? Oh, you guys are just crazy. So, uh, thank you to uh, Jean-Louis and crew. You guys are doing fantastic things. Uh, Dave McLean, I really wish I would have met you this time, but maybe next time. Um, wow, just an amazing project. Now look, see, I'm blubbering again. I'm just, it's just, it's, it's out of this world. It is quintessentially a moonshot. And I don't think there is another layout in North America that can compare to the complexity and uh, level of detail and quality 
that this layout portrays and I'm highly impressed <sighs> highly impressed thank you very much I hope you liked the video I'll be buzzing about this layout for the next year talk to you later guys